Hello and welcome to Static Tests video. In this video, we'll go through overview of static tests in Magento 2, configure and run them. Static tests can be found under Dev Tests Static Directory, and all tests are inside Test Suite. So there are simple standard checking tests for JS, Less, and PHP, handy legacy tests that are checking if your code is using any obsolete references like references for config nodes or classes or methods that were removed or renamed. Those tests can and should be run after upgrades. There are also more complicated integrity tests, checking complex scenarios like circular dependency, exception hierarchy, or even HHVM compatibility. As you can see, there are really a lot of different tests that can be used to ensure your code stability and quality without any efforts for writing them. All tests are contained in this underscore files directory and they are used to store blacklists and whitelists. You can use blacklists and whitelists for adapting your code step by step for full static tests build. Also, for example, for PHP tests, you can configure rule set of PHP CS or PHP MD. Let's try to run the static test. To run static tests, we can use Magento console command bin Magento dev tests run. And here we have to specify which type of test we would like to run. In this case, it's static. However, before running this test, we probably would like to configure which exactly tests we would like to run. And this can be done through phpunit.xml file. Let's copy the default file, remove the .dist extension, and for this example, I would like to use just PHP coding standards verification tests, as all tests would require some time to execute. Now, let's run this command. OK, so static tests completed, and as you can see, there is one failure. Let's take a look what's happened. OK, so PHP copy paste detector has found that API Fixture and integration fixture contains code duplicates. And it's not surprising. Let's take a look on those fixtures. So here is the fixture from API test. And here is the fixture from integration test. For sure, static test is, is advising us to move the duplicated code to a separate fixture. Let's check the result of static tests if we'll remove the copy pasted snippet. Rerun test again. And now they are passed. So, this was the last video of first section of this course. In this video, we walk through unit integration, web API, functional performance, and static tests. In the next section, we'll talk about optimization of Magento 2.